35 year old woman in patient psychiatric unit found by the police when she was violating conditions of her restraining order by parking on side street of her lover's home every night for the past week her lover a famous hometown celebrity has adamantly denied any relationship with her but she insists that since he signed a copy of her album she knew they were in love he has his own wife children everything but he she still believes that he is in love with her and she has now gone to his house to meet him in secret which of the following statement best describes the patient's condition we just spoke about it. this is a classic idiotomanic delusion that we spoke about where i said that you know sharukh khan might be in love with me so this patient is thinking that the celebrity is in love with her so what is this question asking which of the following statement best describes this patient's condition so she other than her delusion is fine so let's say she has a delusional disorder i'm going to give you all one more shot at this okay now tell me the question is saying which of the following statement best describes a delusional disorder This is again one of those questions where, if you know it, you know it. So you guys would need to know first aid by heart, okay? Like not by heart, by heart, but at least like seventy percent. So I have yes, Arjun, you're right. This is an erotomanic delusion, and some of y'all are saying A. The patient can have, or somebody saying E. Okay. So thank you for responding. I can see all of y'all are active. So A. Patient can have confidence psychotic disorder. Good try, but this is also false. And E, symptoms must be present for at least four weeks. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Okay, so yes, congratulations, whoever said E. The correct answer is that the symptoms must be present for at least four weeks. Now let's see why the other options are wrong. So like, don't feel bad if you get this one wrong because this is one of those things that if you know it, you know. It. And right now we're discussing it, so it's highly likely that you're not going to forget it now. Okay, so please pay attention. These small sessions help because when you are reading now, if you keep reading, keep reading, it becomes a little difficult to remember things sometimes. So when you are attending sessions, doing flashcards, if this little flash memory that you get, like if I tell you right now what how long a delusional disorder lasts, you're more likely to remember that than you are likely to remember something you're going to learn while reading. Okay, so it's important that you all pay attention. Yeah. So let's have a look at this. So she has a delusional disorder. So what all do you need to know about a delusional disorder? A delusional disorder is diagnosed when the only symptom that the patient has a delusion uh, has is a delusion. He has no other psychiatric disorder. Okay, so let me get a pen out here. So he has no other psychotic disorder. That is why this is the wrong option. If he has any other psychotic disorder, you are going to diagnose him as that. If this delusion is a is accompanied by hallucinations. Negative symptoms, disorganized thoughts, disorganized behavior. You are going to diagnose it as schizophrenia. You will only diagnose it as a delusional disorder if nothing else is fitting the bill. Okay, so it's kind of like a diagnosis of exclusion. If a medical disorder is explaining it better, you are not going to diagnose a delusional disorder. You will only diagnose a delusional disorder when no psychiatric or medical condition is fitting the bill. Okay, then the disorder has a high prevalence rate. No, it actually has a little low prevalence rate. Patients may have a contributing medical condition. No, if there's a medical condition, you diagnose it as a medical condition. I just said that it is an, uh, it is something that you're going to make a diagnosis of exclusion. Disorder must meet two out of the five core criteria. There aren't really any core criteria here. So basically, the only thing she has is a delusion. There it is. So some people might have thought that this is schizophrenia and it needs to meet two out of the five core criteria. I can see how this can be confusing. But you know, in such questions, you need to get into the examiner's state of mind, right? You need to see what is the examiner trying to ask, like what concept is being tested. So here it's quite clear that the concept of delusional disorder might be getting tested. So like I know this is something I will come with more practice, but you need to get into the examiner's head when you're very confused about what is exactly being asked. Okay, so this will come with practice. Don't worry too much about it. So this is not asking about schizophrenia. I know that delusion is a part of schizophrenia, but this is quite classic of delusional disorder. She has no other symptoms. Okay, so what this question was actually asking us was that how long do you need to have delusion for a delusional disorder to be diagnosed? So, a delusion needs to be present for at least a month, which is at least four weeks for a delusional disorder to be diagnosed. Okay, guys, now don't ever forget this. Okay, delusional disorder. Diagnosis of exclusion when no medical or psychiatric condition is making any sense, and it needs to be present for at least four weeks. 
and uh, one person is just asked whether what medications are preferred in delusions. Uh, yes, so if there is a delusional disorder, then you could probably use any antipsychotic medications. Uh, I'm not sure that the first aid mentions any specific antipsychotic medications, but I'm sure atypical antipsychotic should help with delusion. Okay, because these are all psychosis symptoms, right? Like hallucinations, delusions, all these positive symptoms are usually helped by atypical antipsychotic. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.